Hi guys, um, I'm just trying to figure out getting a Falcon development environment set up um, using Docker and it's been about a day and a bit of reading documentation and playing around and I finally think I know how to, well, in a, in a simple way to get this sorted out. So I'm just recording this just to kind of document it for myself and uh, if anyone else finds this useful then you know so be it. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a new folder that I'm going to share. So if I just call this one um, docker share and then inside here I'll make another folder and we'll call it test falcon and then inside here I'm going to make a new PHP file an index uh, just so we can see it running and inside this if I open up my text editor and we'll just put in here uh, a PHP info so we can just see if uh, Falcon is actually installed okay because I found a docker repository uh, and it seems like it's quite a good one for getting a, 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 a kind of a Falcon uh, development um, sorted out pretty quickly okay so the first thing I've done is I've downloaded boot to docker which installs a icon like this on your desktop um, you can download this if you go to if you search for boot to docker and from there Windows and OS X, and uh, there's the uh, there's the executable there, and it's just it's a simple install. Um, I'm not going to go through that. Um, you should be fine. And you uh, are presented with uh, an icon like that after the install, um, and it will what it will do is it will use an, an ISO that it has in its uh, kind of program files folder, and it will mount that ISO to a virtual box Oracle VM virtual box and um, which has docker installed on it and then kind of log you in uh, so if I double click this now and I'll show you what this does I'll just drag this over here I'll leave um, I'll put some links in the description as well because that'll be useful uh, to just be able to straight link to it. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. Right, if I just open up this Oracle view, you can see it like running here. And it's named uh, boot to Docker VM 64 bit. and this is the first time I've done this I've deleted the image it should be quicker the next time you do it because it's uh, uh, obviously it's all set up but it, that, that's um, that's logged me into the machine there now I don't like this um, this is uh, this is uh, IMNGW32 or whatever it's called um, same as the uh, kind of the git bash thing and I prefer putty myself so I found that if you if you exit this um, the the uh, the virtual machine carries on running you see it's not closed down so if you can open up a uh, PowerShell or something and say um, 
boot to docker IP and get the IP address of the virtual machine and uh, it's in there you see so if I open up a uh, my putty manager Um, we just use this 192.168.59.104 uh, save that as docker and I'm going to actually make this a bit easier for you to see so if I um, And um, that's quite easy to read. Okay, so let's just save that again, and I'm going to open it. Okay, so what you do as the username is Docker. And the password is TC Tango Charlie user, one word. Okay, and that boots you into Docker. Okay, so now we have uh, our Docker machine ready. So the, the, the next thing was well, I want to be able to uh, get hold of a, um, of, a, of a Falcon development environment. And I found on the on the docker hub and I do have it open somewhere and if not I'll just find it again okay I'll just find it so if you go to docker hub and you search for falcon And it's this one here, this guy, Aboraz, um, which I don't know what that stands for. Um, but he's not got any stars yet. Well, I'm going to put a star on. But uh, he gives quite a good readme. And um, the first thing you can do to test this is just run this command directly. So this is docker run port 80 to 80, um, 433 to 4, 443 to 443 um, uh, for if you want to use SSL. Um, and run as a daemon. So if we copy that and just run that in here, uh, do a sudo I think and it will pull it down automatically uh, from from this uh, kind of uh, uh, user and uh, repository name So all these layers have now finished uh, downloading, and and this will be running as a daemon in the background because we uh, we selected run as a daemon. Uh, and the way to see if it's on is if I just move this over to my other screen, get the browser back, uh, and here we just need this IP address. We can test it out. So one nine two dot one six eight, whatever IP address um, Boots Docker gave you. Uh, so I'm going to type my one one nine two dot one six eight dot fifty nine dot one o four. I'm noticing that this is incrementing by one each time I'm making a destroying things and then uh, starting again from my experiments. And you get an it works. Um, which is fantastic. So the next step is well, how do we uh, kind of link up uh, uh, some uh, our, our files that we're developing um, uh, uh, onto onto you know so we can develop within this container. So I'm going to just kind of destroy this now. So um, if we do uh, Docker. PS to load, load the processors. 
Let's just expand that out a bit. In fact, we'll clear this. Okay, and uh, if we take that name, so Docker stop. I want to stop this. You just use these uh, uh, these random names that it gets to stop uh, and basically do all kinds of controls and I'm gonna uh, remove it as well okay on our docker uh, kind of virtual machine um, if you view this website here blog.tutum.co and how to use docker on windows there's a little bit here about sharing um, getting uh, getting your uh, kind of your host machine uh, shared on on docker so I'll go through that with you so the first thing you need to do is you need to get uh, this file here um, tiny called Linux um, and SIFS utils download that that's in the home directory see there SIFS utils and then all you do is you do the command tce-load-i -tce and the file that we just downloaded and then that's okay and now you can share your folder. So if we go back to um, my my test falcon uh, locally. So if I right click on this and I'm going to share with nobody you get the options here. Uh, change sharing permissions. My name's Andy, that's who I want. So I'm just going to share it to me. And then we've got Andy PC doc, Docker share Okay, so I will. Oh, I don't need to copy that. I can remember it. Okay, so put that to one side. This is now shared. Um, and if we come back to the tutorial here, you can see that you that you mount via CI, CIFS um, your your kind of local folder. So if I just copy this. Go back to putty, paste that directly in and we'll modify it. So my username is Andy. Oh no, before we do that, let's make <laughs> let's make the folder that we want. Um so uh, I'll just make it in here. Uh make DIR and uh, we will call it um, shared. So I have shared in there. Okay. So again, Andy, and then I think if I just type shared, that'll be fine. And then it's Andy. PC, oops, PC, and what did I call that folder? Forgotten now. I called it Docker Share. Okay, so Docker Share. Right, and if you get that wrong, you get a permission denied. I noticed that I got I was getting permission denied, but I actually just kind of it was a typo. But um, it it you don't get it. It doesn't exist. It just says permission. You know denied which is was a bit confusing to begin with it'll ask you for your password which is just your windows password which I've just typed in wrong and there you are it's shared so if we list this and go into shared and list that we can now see test falcon is in there and if we list there we've got our index PHP okay so I'll just um output where I am. 
and we will go back to our instructions uh, that he's provided for us and <laughs> and I can't show you now because that happened okay so uh, I'm going to pause the video and wait um, for them to finish their maintenance and we should carry on with this um, I'm going to go and get a cup of tea I think see you in a moment okay so now we're back it took about 20 minutes I think um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, so the simple example. So now uh, I'm going to try and get that this uh, test PHP file, if you remember, which is sat inside my Docker share, to run. And just to kind of do the PHP info thing. So we do this and then we add a volume uh, and I'm going to change the uh, the, uh, the the location here so I'll just open this up I'm going to make this slightly smaller if I can no I can't okay never mind so paste this in here and I'm going to presume that this is correct, this uh, folder, that I want to replace this part here before the colon, basically with all of that, okay, okay, and there we go, so it's run, so let's now refresh our browser. and it doesn't work okay so I'm just gonna have a little look so I wasn't paying attention to the uh, the error message that came back I just kind of you know just assumed that it worked uh, it was expecting a public uh, as you know, as you normally get in a in a Falcon uh, uh, kind of uh, application there's a public directory that's what it was trying to navigate to um, so I had to just make the public folder and put it in index. So now when I navigate to uh, the address, we now get the PHP info on there. And if we uh, do a find for Falcon, um, we will see that the uh, that it's 1.3.4 and it's uh, it's all working fine. Um, so uh, and uh, we can obviously edit this file. We could. Um, put in a die and say I have changed um, and there's uh, and unlike with vagrant or uh, anything this is pretty instant well, is it okay um, basically what happened is I'm stupid so uh, let me just check this is back on right okay what I was doing is I was editing the wrong file I would just click control s and that just put the index PHP back um, in the root sorry to confuse you if I did but I just basically I put a, an index PHP back in here by just automatically control s um, don't know what's wrong with me today okay so this is the one that I want to edit so it needs to be the public one. I wasn't editing the wrong one. So now let's give this a try. So if I change this to die, and we just go, uh, I changed. Because we can all change, can't we? And there we go. Okay, there we are. That's what happened. It was just me being ridiculous. I hope that helps you. Uh, sorry about that little bit, little bit of... Uh, uh, awkwardness at the end uh, but never mind uh, got there in the end uh, that is how we have managed to get uh, a falcon dev environment uh, uh, with boot to docker bye